want to. to. Treasure? Anybody out, out there? there? That's not actually a microphone. <laughs> it's actually a port to the new, uh, Right there. The, uh, the input to our new scoop. Dang sure that this got gored by a unicorn. Hello in there. Oh man. You think it's gonna work? I don't know. Could go either way. Let me see. Ow! Ow! Goddamn! Oh god! Get off my finger! Oh shoot! That was nothing. It was like my very own gum to bar. Shoot! The box! There is nothing but pain in the box. So today. We hit the jackpot. We got the new hand tech oscilloscope. And so now we only have that guy. No digital. So we can't store anything that we've done or whatever we're catching to look at later, which is a lot like not debugging at all. We're at uh, Electric Rose. We don't want to let anybody down. <laughs> So there we go, we're uh, just taking a reading on channel one of the scope um, right after the resistor, right? Right before it hits the speaker. And uh, yeah, and we, we loaded up our, um, we loaded up our sketch that we made earlier, playing around with the tone function and uh, with just a little bit of tweaking. Uh, Got it going. So the main things were were here. There is a auto set. So I hit that and it got me in range. And once it got us close to it, to the signal, then I just tweaked the vertical and the horizontal for channel one. Obviously where it's plugged in. We've got the oscilloscope connected to its own signal generator there. It generates the square wave. Ugh. Dang it. This is the hardest thing to try to get to. Come on now, you stay there. All right. One last test of the of the oscilloscope, and it took them directly to the guitar. I'm pretty sure things are working. <laughs>
That's the highest note I've got on here. Pretty new with the oscilloscope, so my experience with the DSO2C10 so far has been great. It feels like a nice solid piece of hardware and has been easy to work with. The calibration and the initial test are quick and simple, the display is big and bright, and it's one of the most affordable scopes I was able to find in the market. One other thing I have to mention today is the open source synthesizer called Surge. The dramatic hand tech intro music was done using nothing but Surge in my voice. If you do any kind of DAW production or just want to check out virtual synthesis, Surge is a great and free place to start. You can even tweak the source code and join the Surge community while you're at it. Great job open source developers of Surge. I hope you and everyone who sees this video has a fantastic and fruitful weekend. See ya.